In this video, I'm going to show you how I created this loading bar for my videos in DaVinci Resolve. So first of all, let's go ahead, create a new Fusion composition. Let's call this loading bar. Head over to it. And go ahead and add a background. And also add this merge. So connect them both with this media out. Now press control space on your keyboard and select crop and go ahead and connect it with your background so you can see this is connected go over to the crop section and over here set the x offset at a 30 then go ahead and set the y offset at 1000 so here you can see we have a bar so now let's go ahead and add this transform connect this with the crop and now what we can do is, first of all, let's go ahead and change the pivot. And now let's go ahead and change the position. So let's move this right here. Here you can see we have our loading bar. So now what we need to do is go ahead and copy all of these and paste them over here and connect them with this merge. And now what you need to do is go over to this background and set the color to white. Like this. And now let's add a rectangle. So this will be the mask. So let's connect this with the background. And let's go ahead and bring this right here in the center. And also make sure you increase the width so that this covers the whole region. And now what you can do is go over to the end of your timeline over here and you can go ahead and hit a create a keyframe at center like this and go all the way here and then what you can do is simply move this out like this now go over to spline and select your rectangle select both keyframes and hit s on your keyboard and Control t and just go ahead and change the ease in to 55. So now let's go ahead and play this. So here you can see we have a loading bar and of course if you think that this is too slow what you can do is go over to spline and then simply drag this right here. And here you can see you can decrease or increase the loading time according to the setting over here. And now you can go ahead and add a text. So here you can see this is how we can create a loading bar. And this is the one that I use for my videos as well in the intro. So I hope you liked the video. Let me know your feedback in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.